Hi, welcome to Deer Camp. My name is Renee Heath. We're here in Poolsville, Maryland at the Bethesda Chevy Chase chapter of the Isaac Walton League of America. Let's go check it out. That's horrible. We have jiggle one. Should do some kind of like deers and hooters magazine. Hi, and welcome back to Deer Camp. We're here with Butch Mezik, and he's gonna to talk to us about his hunting experiences. What part would you say hunters play in conservation? The quick answer is a huge part. Uh, get right to the point. 1937, uh, the Congress put through legislation for the Pittman-Robinson Act, and it has it, that's an excise tax on firearms and ammunition and hunting supplies. It has generated $3.7 billion to date. And that money is used to purchase and to service and maintain wildlife management areas. And a lot of it is from hunting licenses. When you purchase a hunting license, you're putting so much back into the natural resource. As a matter of fact, most Department of Natural Resources departments are run from the fees of in-state and out-of-state hunting licenses. So if you have a friend and they're not particularly interested in hunting or maybe don't approve of it, but they really do care about the wildlife, please ask them to buy a hunting license as a duck's name because that's the best way they can do it. And let's wrap it up with this. There are organizations that we all can be proud of because they're not government mandated organizations. These are just concerned sportsmen. Ducks Unlimited is responsible for thousands and thousands of acres being returned to breeding grounds uh, for ducks and geese. Quail Unlimited, Pheasants Forever, the Rough Grouse Society, just to name a few. These are folks that come together in all walks of life with a common interest and a common love wildlife and conservation. They put their time, their talent, and their money back into the sport. 